Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29 back again for another Marvel comic review and in this Marvel comic review I'll be covering the 25th issue of Moon Knight by Jed McKay and uh, jumping in the first thing first, does this cover in any way, shape or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story? Um, in a big essence it does, to which I give a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the internal art and have a look at what is happening story-wise. Uh, with this, it's got a number of chapters throughout the story and it looks to be setting things up for what will be happening in the other upcoming issues. So what I might try to do is maybe try to cover some art from each of the chapters and then give my art um, racing starting now and also seeing what is happening story wise this is some of the art around the beginning uh, which is around a prologue we move into part one of this story and we get to see Moon Knight here at the Midnight Mission Jumping into part two, we actually get a bit of a flashback to 12 years ago. We move into part three. Part four, to which we move back into a flashback. Missed part five, so we're into part six. Moving into part seven. And last but not least, towards the end. So for the internal art, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Moving into the area of the story, uh, first things first, did we get any comic references? Uh, sure enough, we did. Uh, we had a comic reference to Moon Knight issue 1, as well as uh, the Marvel previews issue 21. For the area of time, we had shortly being used, and also 12 years ago. For the location, we had um, one of the prisons, a cemetery, um, the Midnight Mission, Heart Island, and last but not least, Egypt. The cast of characters consisting of the Black Spectre, Keith, Tigra, Moon Knight, Morpheus, Eight Ball, and last but not least, Zodiac. For the overall story rating in this, I give it an 8 out of 10. Until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.